hi guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm going to be talking about five products that are overrated and five products that are worth it um i'm just going to be talking about a couple of products that i think are worth your money and a couple of products that i think are really overhyped and kind of over talked about on facebook instagram you know on social media i think there are a lot of, bit of things that are like, too trendy that maybe are just getting overhyped maybe because of the brand name um because there's just like kind of out there and things that I think are kind of replacements of those that are better so we're gonna go ahead and talk about that if you guys are new to my channel welcome to my channel I am a lover of makeup and everything beauty would pretty much enjoy my collection I do do weekly rotations I'm also doing my declutters right now for the end of the year so if that's something you guys are interested in make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe down below and let's get into the video all right so we're gonna start with the products that I think are overhyped and I'll talk about the ones that I think are replacements of those are worth it for my opinion so um, let's talk about the first product being an eyebrow product this is the Anastasia brow freeze this is the brow styling wax I think that this is really overhyped um I know a lot of people like it I actually have been using it but I don't like how it looks on my eyes it makes my eyebrow hairs like I have it under right now on my eyebrows I think it makes them look like really you can kind of tell they make it they make them stay bushy I like the bushy look but after a while my eyebrow hairs start weighing down and they don't last as long so what I have to do to make this eyebrow work or this eyebrow product breeze brow freeze thing work is I have to go over it with my Merit Beauty um brow this is the brow volumizing pomade and I prefer this 100% over this they have this in different colors. They have it in darker colors. They have it in blonde. They have all these types of colors for this uh, brow pomade. And I 100% prefer it over this one. It gives me the exact same look. Again, I used this today, but I had to go over it with this to make my eyebrow hairs stick up and the way that I like them to be. So I don't recommend this 100%. I, this is really trendy and it might work for you if you're a makeup artist and doing like a photo shoot. But if you're wanting your makeup to last all day and your eyebrows to stay up, like a brow effect i think you're going to uh, prefer the merit one or any other clear brow gel i have my nyx clear brow gel that also works really well so yeah that's the first product that i think is way overhyped and it's not really worth your money the next product we're going to talk about is a lip balm i actually have a mini of this i received it for a birthday gift and i've been using it non-stop but i think that i have found a better replacement for this so this is the nars um after glow lip balm i have this one in this shade i think it's like the part of the whole laguna line and this is just a clear lip balm it's not like a super like a revolutionary thing i think they have different colors and different variations of this but in my opinion you can find a better lip balm the one that i've really been enjoying which is also a mini and i'll talk about it is this mini from rare beauty this is a rare beauty uh nearly neutral lip balm and i like how this feels on my lips i just like the consistency of it it's a similar um uh, texture and similar feel on the lips so i feel like this makes my lips feel more hydrated and more plush and i really really enjoy the feeling of this even like as a gloss i think it's such a good product um and i think i'm gonna pick up a rare beauty full size lip balm pretty soon um because again these are both minis i actually got these both for free um you know as like trial sizes this is a birthday gift this is a trial but i really prefer the lip balm from rare beauty over the nars lip balm that's just my opinion and i think these are a little bit overhyped and overrated i prefer the rare balm uh, lip balms from rare beauty the next product we're going to talk about is a bronzer um, and I really think this is such an overhyped bronzer. I think this is way, way overhyped. And I don't really think it's worth your money or worth your time. Uh, I have a lot of cream bronzers that I prefer, which I'll talk about. This is the Patrick Ta um, Cream Contour and Powder Duo in She Sculpted. This is what mine looks like. Mine has a, you have a cream and you have a powder on, uh, in this component. And you have the cream, it's covered by a little like plastic lid. So it doesn't like kind of get messed up but i don't know i don't find the hype between this product it's just like a regular contour bronzer duo and i don't know i don't think this blends out as easily the cream part doesn't blend out as easily as i would like i just think that it's just very very uh kind of like meh it's a meh product it's not really something that's like oh my god you're gonna like love it um so that's why i think it's just like really overhyped and i was wanting to try the blushes but i've heard the same thing as far as their blushes go that they're very overhyped and for the price i don't know i'm not 100 in love with it 
I do have some preferences though, so I'll talk about that. The first one being the Danessa Myricks Power Bronzer. This is a power bronzer in the shade Light. It's just such a creamy formula. It's really easy to blend. It's just one of the creamiest formulations for bronzer that I've tried in a while. And honestly, I think that she does a really good job of keeping this product like easy to maneuver, easy to use on the cheek. Even if you're a first timer for bronzer, uh, cream bronzers, I think this would be a really good option because it is just so good. It's really creamy and really pretty on the skin. For powders, of course, I'm going to go ahead and mention my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. This is a powder bronzer. I love mine so much. I've had it in my project pan for this year and I have not hit panned it yet. So that might say a lot as far as product goes. It does have a total of 6.23 grams or 0.22 ounces. So I don't know how much that is in terms of product. But I feel like I've had this in a while in my collection and it has lasted me a long time. I'll go ahead and swatch it here for you guys. This is the shade in Shady Biz. I'll swatch it next to the Vanessa Myricks Powder Bronzer. So you can kind of see it is a very good dupe for the Patrick Ta. Even if those products alone, it might be a little pricey to get those products alone. But I just think if you want a cream bronzer and a powder bronzer, um, and you're not really necessarily looking for like a specific product uh, to use, I would say use this one. So this is the Danessa Myricks. This is the Sh Shady Biz from Fenty. This is the Cream Patrick Ta Bronzer. And this is the Powder Bronzer. I don't like how this contour blends as far as formulation in the Patrick Ta. So it's not my favorite. I'm still using it because I just newer to my collection and I'm using it to work with it. But from what I've used and what I've worked with, I think I have products that I prefer over that one. And I do maybe see that being in a future topic block. So yeah, that's just a product that I don't really necessarily think is worth the hype. And I think I have other better options as far as that goes. Moving along, we're going to talk about concealer. And I don't really love the Pat, uh, Pat McGrath Labs concealer. I have it under my eyes. I just think it makes my eyes look dry. Like, really, you see that? I don't like that. And I just put my makeup on not even half an hour ago. And this is already happening. So um it's not my favorite i have it in lm8 which is my perfect shade but i just think this is too drying on my skin and i don't know why um it's the skin fetish sublime perfection concealer and it has five mls um or 0.16 fluid ounces i just it's fabricated in italy which i, I thought it was gonna be a good product i love the powder from pat mcgrath but this concealer is just not it for me you can kind of see there i do have natural creases but this other concealers that i have that i'll talk about next it's just i don't think this is worth the hype I don't think it's worth it. I know some people love it, but for me, it's just not my preference. I prefer something like the Kosas Concealer, which is really creamy. My Milani Concealer Perfect, or even the e.l.f. This is a hydrating camel concealer. I prefer these 10 times over this one, honestly. And I think these two are much more affordable. Obviously, it's a drugstore product, but they look much better under my eyes than this has been. And this is in my current shot my stash for this week. So I'm going to continue to use it all week and continue to update you guys. But yeah, it's not my favorite. I had this uh, in a darker shade and I was using it for my eyebrows to clean my eyebrows up. So I didn't really notice much. But now that I have it under my eyes and I've been using it under my eyes for like almost a whole beginning of my whole shot my stash, it's not my favorite. So I prefer Drugstore or the Kosas one is really good um, other than the Pat McGrath all right um really quickly here talking about an eyeshadow palette and this is the last part of this um products that are overhyped this is the m cosmetics divine skies eyeshadow palette this is 42 ish dollars i will be putting all the price differences below so you guys can see um but this is the m cosmetics divine skies eyeshadow palette i have this on my eyes today and i like i said i just put my makeup on like not even half an hour ago and I just want to show you guys the creasing that's going on already and my eyes. Um, Not so much this one, but this one. And I swear to you guys, this eyeshadow palette is beautiful. But I don't see the hype between... I don't see the hype behind this um this M Cosmetics palettes. They're pricey. They're like 40 something dollars. You get a total of six shades. So I don't know. It looks pretty on the eyes. But I have a dupe. I have actually a couple dupes. Um, the first one being the Milani Face and Cheek Palette. This is the one for the light to medium skin tones. This is like $14 compared to this one. And you have a very similar color story. Very, very similar color story. They swatch like identical. So I'm going to go ahead and do some few swatches here for you guys. This is the M Cosmetics. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch the M Cosmetics. This is the M Cosmetics side. Okay. And I'm going to swatch the palette for you guys. So this is the um, 
Milani. So I'll go ahead and swatch what I think is a pretty close dupe to this um, palette. So you have a really similar color story. This is the Milani. This is the M Cosmetics. Sorry, my bracelets are in the way. But this is the M Cosmetics. This is the Milani. And honestly, I think they're very good dupes. I did top this middle shade with a little bit of the highlighter. That's what gives it that effect. But even the highlighter alone, this is the shades by themselves. And then this is them together. I mean, you get a lot more variety in a face palette that's $14 in comparison to an eyeshadow palette that's 30, 40 something dollars. And I does, this does not crease like this does on me. And it's just not my favorite. Another dupe that I think is really good for that palette. I have a mini. I have some of the shades in here. This is the ColourPop Triple Scoop Quad. Um, a couple of these shades I think are really, really good dupes for this palette as well. So I'll go ahead and swatch them here. A little bit more powdery, the first shade. These are from ColourPop. So I think that they're very good dupes. Again, you have a really similar color story. Maybe not these two shades, but lightly used. I can see a very good similar look. Another palette is the Sweet Talk palette from ColourPop. You have a very similar color story. So yeah, I think that you can find a lot better drugstore options for this palette in particular. And I've talked about this palette in the past. And I continue to use it because I continue to test the pop formulation. It just doesn't work for me. I have hooded eyelids um, and I have creases in my eyes. So this just really does not, it doesn't impress me for being such a high price product and really overhyped. So yeah, that is all my products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Anything that's on my face, I'll go ahead and put on the description down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.